It's a busy day and there's going to be a lot of pile hoppers. So we might have to rush just a little bit. Look at those nuts. I can't really tell if anyone's already been at this pile. Um, maybe not. Whoa, look at those. is this oh my goodness Look at these bolts I feel bad for the garbage guys who have to pick this up this is one of those piles that was basically a mess from the beginning People do that sometimes, you know. It's not always the pile hoppers or the trash pickers that make a mess. Sometimes it's the homeowners just throw everything out. Cool little lamp. Rebar. There's your doorbell, lady. That's what that is.
There's so many little bits and pieces of hardware, plus orthopedic socks. What? It's a lot of like garage and basement hardware and stuff. It's fascinating to me. I don't know if it's your cup of tea. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. That was a one-sided conversation with my new friend Polly Pilehopper. Oh, I guess she didn't realize how many cords there are in this pile. Wagner wear. Look at this stuff. It's all like doorknob stuff. Hey, how you doing? What's up with all the door and window hardware? Seems like you have a ton of it. Cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. Thank you. All right, thanks. Guy said the former owner of the house had a lot of this stuff. But I mean, look at this. K resistors. I don't know what that is. All right, so I guess uh, I guess you get the idea of this pile. Hardware junk, wires. I'm gonna rummage around for a little while, and then we'll get to the next thing. Welcome to. Beautiful day of trash picking. The problem with piles like that, the one we were just at, is that you spend a lot of time there, but you don't make any money. What is that? The magnet don't stick to it. It's too heavy to be aluminum. Let's see. Give it a little scrapey scrapey. I think it's just stainless. Not really worth taking. But we can always use these. I love these things. It's a nice one too. It's like vintage-ish. Those are all the wires we got out of that pile. Look at this. Who has this in their house? I think that guy was some kind of weird hoarder or something. But he certainly had a big enough house to hoard in.
Ew. I think somebody pooped themselves on that chair. I like this spring though. That's a big fancy sink. What do you think? Should we take the whole sink? Do we want to drive around all day with this kind of weight in the car? Yeah, why not? I don't want to fit. I don't know, maybe I should just take these off for now. How do we even get those off? Maybe this will work. I think if I just blast the handles off. Really? <sighs> yeah, it's like this little collar has to come off right here. All right, I'm gonna have to do that off camera with like pliers and stuff, but I don't wanna take this whole, this whole sink just yet. It's a little too big. We'll take it later, because nobody else is gonna take it today. I'll see you in a bit. I didn't record at this pile, because there was a lady there. So let's recreate what happened. Oh look, an old stereo. Do I want it? No, not really. Oh, some other stuff. Do I want it? Not really. But look what's over here. Do I want these? Oh my goodness, you know I do. Yeah, that's like a little recreation of what happened earlier. <laughs> Iron Maiden tapes. Oh, and, and there's this. But, you know, empty as always. It's very exciting. You never find Iron Maiden tapes. Or Iron Maiden anything, so that in our little box of goodies. Oh, we found Zeppelin too. I mean, we, we found Zeppelin too, too. Parked on a main road. But uh, look what we got. A Singer sewing machine base. Wow. Is it broken? I don't know. It looks all right.
Looks like it's missing a bolt down here. But I don't think that piece is wood. Yeah, I don't see anything that's like seriously snapped or destroyed. So... See how we can get that in here. Hmm. What I'm going to do later <sighs> What I'm going to do later I think is like unboltify it so it fits in better But for now we're good and we will take These tires, wheels, Where'd that water come from? All right, sorry if this footage is a little hectic, but. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is, it's like for shooting. Uh... There's the sewing machine that went on that base. Here's a big, whoa. I didn't really want to get too loaded up on heavy scrap right now. Because I should be here for a few more hours. But someone's gonna snatch that up if I don't. So I'll leave the machine, the sewing machine for later. Later we'll go around and get that sink, that sewing machine. Whatever other scrap we left. But yeah, that's a that's a cool score right there. Haven't had one of those in months. Why do I feel like I need these in my life? This is just crap from like Hobby Lobby. But it has a magical look to it.
Yeah, I guess we don't need that though, do we? So, you guys want to smash the toilet, maybe? We got room in the trunk. It's not exactly a toilet. It's like a bidet. I think I should break that for the brass. Think anyone's gonna take it and use it? Would you use a used bidet that you got out of the garbage? Well, I guess leave your uh, leave your answer in the comments. How do we get that out of there, though? Hmm. Wow, that's really annoying. It's like I can't hold this with one hand and turn it with the other. There it goes. All right. Now we'll take what's left of this toilet. And, uh, Hope nobody got mad at us. Honestly, these things aren't even that heavy. I totally feel like a dick now. I shouldn't have done that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. We got enough clips. I'm tired of recording. So let's do a couple more little things and then we can wrap it up. Let's see, do you think we can get any of these off of here? Yes, we can. Larry Bird style. Haha, <laughs> two points. Who's another basketball player? Michael Jordan? Dennis Rodman style. Um, Kevin McHale. embarrass myself now by not being able to get this one last piece of copper out of here. Denied. There. 
Shaquille O'Neal style. This is like a three-pointer where we are. Swish. All right, that's what it's like going trash picking, folks. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Well, uh, here's the epilogue. I just found this thing. I never found one of these before in my life. Looks like a pretty nice one, too. A little crack at the bottom, maybe. Hmm. I guess that's what happens when you go out for like 12 hours in a row. You find a uh, cigar store indigenous person? Anyway, thanks for watching.